Hello everybody and welcome back to the Otter Gaming Squad Gastro here. Today we're gonna take a quick look at Dwarf Tower, um, a game by the guys from IOSoft. Um, there isn't too much background information about this game, however, because their website so far, uh, or at the moment, is featuring their new title, which is sort of a Heroes of Might and Magic kind of game, uh, from what I could see, so... Yeah, sorry about that, just, you know, um, all I can tell you basically is, uh, you know, like, from what, everything that I've seen so far in the game, which is too much, I played like, you know, maybe an hour of it so far. Um, it is kind of, you know, it is a very retro game, let's put it this way. Also, before I start, really, a uh, quick shout out to my uh, good friend, Edger, for uh, actually gifting me this game and uh, bringing it to my radar, so... Uh, Thanks for that, buddy. And um, yeah, so as you can see, we got towers, apparently dwarf towers, obviously. We can play this in single player, online tutorial, and etc. I haven't really done too much with online. Ex in fact, I haven't done anything online. So all I've played so far is the tutorial and the single player, um, or the single game in this uh, instance um, but as this is more like a quick first impressions with you really um, I'll just you know uh, see what I can tell you from what I know so far um, let's jump in real quick and uh, then you'll probably get a better idea so at the moment you don't really see too much except this uh, other dwarven uh, tower in the background here. This is the AI, obviously. And if you guys remember, I don't know, uh, there was a game called Ballerburg in Germany. I'm not quite sure how the English title was, if it had any. It was really an old game, but uh, quite fun. So the idea is basically more or less the same, just with more like a card game mix into it. So basically, the uh, you know, the, the goal, to achieve the goal of winning the game, you have to destroy the enemy's uh, Archmage room, which is this one here. And um, you can place rooms, this is just the first starting one, and if I were to put the Archmage room in here, I could select it and just click this place. And, you know, let's just pick this, as good a place as any, I suppose. And if we don't like this place, then we can later on move it. Uh, so there's basically, you know, you can use up uh, resources in a way to move rooms around and switch them and stuff. So uh, nothing really has to be uh, in a final place, if you will. So if your room gets attacked by the enemy, you can maybe then just either repair it or switch it out or something. So, but this is not really looking too much of a tower, so let's just uh, extend this by selecting... Well, uh, let's just pick two horizontal blocks on the left and the right here. Which basically means we can't build anything upwards here, or downwards in this case. So, for this you need the four block. You can, you know, you see the little entryways here, so there's none here and none here, but in this case... See, we can build this way, this way, and this way. So we'll just keep it symmetric. Put one here, and one vertical block up above my uh, archmage. So, um, what you actually use to, you know, how do you do stuff? Basically, you have, on the one hand, mana, which comes in the form of crystals. So crystals generate mana. And on the other hand, you have uh, basically dwarfs as resources. So, you know, manpower, in a will, or dwarf power. Um, so, for these, you need the dwarf dwellings. And we'll just put one right here. So, this means we have one dwarf, which could either be like a firefighter or a mover, for instance. Uh, we also want mana, so we'll just put the crystal in here. And the reflector basically is, um, well, what it, <laughs> what it says, it reflects attacks back to the enemy. So, um, as you can see, I can't see where anything is, like any any of his runes are. And so I just know the basic form of the tower, but none, not if this room, for example, is empty or not. So, 
If I do select uh, an attack later on and I select this room as the target and the enemy has a reflector in there, I'll just bounce the spell back to me. So it's just a bit of a you know risk factor and you can maybe uh, trick the enemy into you know shooting yourself. Uh, I did that quite a few times in the uh, in the last game actually. So um, what we do want is basically go down as well instead of just up. So we want to have a tunneler. And we'll just tunnel down straight from our Archmage's room. And we could actually, just to show you uh, the functionality, select a Dwarf Mover. So we pick the Mover and this one is now dedicated to moving stuff. So now we are done with Build Phase or Place Phase. So we select OK. Now we're in the Build Phase where you can build units. And we don't have any dwarves. <clears throat> yeah, right. So we only have one dwarf and one mana and we need two. So yeah, we're not moving the... I thought we might move this one to down here, but oh well. Okay, since we didn't have any any combat cards... Yeah, oh, yeah. let's just stick with cards here just for the sake of it. Uh, we don't have any attacks, so we just skip this phase. Can't, still can't uh, repair a move or anything because still won't dwarf. As you can see, he built his tower further up, so we shall do the same, I think. Actually, no, let's create a room here first because I couldn't have moved the Archmage down here anyway. And put up a vertical block like here, yeah, right here. Next crystal goes. I don't know. Let's see here. Don't really have any firefighters we can place because for that we would need another dwelling first. And we could now yeah, we could move the the archmage room down here. But let's just keep it this uh, at this place for now. Also to uh, keep in mind if I were to if I had any combat cards and I could blow up this part then all the rest up here would also go. So um, do keep that in mind. So, next round, I suppose. Now, you can see this little icon here. That's the eye. The eye is basically a spell. So, he knows now that there is a there is a crystal here. And he will probably try to attack it at some point or another. Um, in the meantime, let's place another crystal. Because you always need mana. Uh, I guess you could tunnel down a bit as well. So, let's make a tunnel here H blocks does anyone remember the H blocks oh well um, rising high and stuff anyway uh, <laughs> fences fences are used to ward off against certain kind of attack in this case uh, it is to ward off the uh, I think the dynamite tossing dwarves or something so basically they can't attack this area here Still have not any any more dwellings, so no firefighters. We could move stuff around now, but yeah, let's actually do that. So we're gonna take the crystal here and move it to here. So he doesn't know anymore what's in there. No combat cards yet. No repairs to be done. Okay, let's get this one up as well. And we have another crystal. Problem is, so far at least, we didn't have any uh, any spells, but we do have some spells now. Now the dome is is a bit of a you know you have to make the de decision here because as soon as you place the dome, you can't build upwards anymore in this in this area until the dome gets blown up, I suppose. Uh, however, you're just gonna put it right in the middle here, although it's not really a big tower, but you can still build upwards here and here and. Probably also in the future somewhere else. Um, so we can actually now use the um, the dynamite because we have a free dwarf again. And either we're going to use a fireball or lightning because we only have one space in the library. Or oh, actually, we don't have a library at all. So at the moment, we only have the archmage, which can just hold one spell, as you can see by the little number one here. And we're just going to use a lightning, I think, because he doesn't have a, a, a dome 
Also, lightning will always strike the dome first, if there is a dome. At least that's uh, what I've gathered from the tutorial. Yep, we're gonna store it in our Archmage's library, and then we're done because, just so you can see, I don't have any more room in my library. Or, I don't have a library. So, now we can... Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we have two draws. We can use one of these for dynamite, which we will. It's always gonna hit a random place, by the way. And then we're gonna select lightning as well, which also hits random. And click OK. And you can see we damaged two of his rooms. I can't really target it, but, you know. Okay, and that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> okay. Well, shit. So, uh, he used Flood on this one. However, since we have a reflector here, the Flood bounced back to him. So, he has got some flooded areas now. However, our tower's on fire, which isn't too great. But we have firefighters now. So, let's use these. And... Uh, let's place some blocks first. Let's keep it this area. We don't really need um, we don't really need fences in this or this area because uh, there's no like rats that can come up here or rather not rats but uh, tunnelers. So one area we might want to protect for the future is this one here. We can put another crystal somewhere. Yeah, why not? Can I actually place repairers in here as well? Uh, oh no, I can can repair stuff. So let's repair this. We want anti eye, so let's put that here. Lightning and the eye. So, which means we can now use our well shit. Uh, we can't use our firefighters because we don't have enough dwarves, which will still take two more rounds if I'm unlucky, which will probably result in this shit burning down really far. Not too great. Ah, god damn it, not my dwarves again. Well, that happened. There goes my mana. Shite. <clears throat> well, let's um, let's ignore this then. Uh, crap. Since I don't know where he has any doors, let's just use. Actually, when you use lighting, it will strike here. So yeah, let's still use it to get rid of this. Oh, damn it. This is not going well. Nope, this did not go well at all. Well, that's bad. <laughs> Stop ruining my shit. Uh, my ass handed to me. Don't really want to build there because, well, it's just useless. At least I can use the repairers. This is going really shitty. I guess I can I can build the thing here, but it's, really, it's just gonna catch fire really, so I don't need the pumpers because we don't have a flood. Doesn't really matter too much either way, but Oh and we don't have drops for repairs, great. Yeah, just go on. Why the hell did he attack that? He knew there was a reflector there. The idiot. Still not enough dwarves. Oh, now it's flooded as well. That's just so great. Yeah, things are really going my way now. At least the the flood has uh, removed the fire. So there's that, which is nice. And use the movers to maybe, maybe sometime get this crystal out. 
Actually, now. Yeah, we can move it now. That's great. Where to, though? Yeah, sure. Why not? And we can do some... Some lightning. And nothing else. Okay, that collapsed something. Oh no, not fire. Eh, at least we can build firefighters. That's great. And we can build upwards again. Uh, yep. Anti eye, by the way, just removes uh, these. And damn it, don't have enough dwarves, don't have enough mana either. Oh no, I do have a dwarf. Let's just use one. That's just great. Well, at least the fire is out. That's a plus. Uh, don't need firefighters at the moment. Let's use the ray on this one again. Hmm. Rain or reds? Rain or reds? Rain or reds? Rain. And dynamite, of course. Hmm. I'm really tempted to get rid of this thing. <laughs> it's uh Okay, let's put this under armor then. And put a library, I don't know, here. Oh, well, we do have quite a lot of library space. Hmm. Yeah, let's use the firefighters. 27. I mean, we do have quite a lot of mana at the moment, so that's nice. What do we actually have here? We could... Yeah. Let's use the disturbance on his crystal. And anything else I know so far? No, not really. So let's just use two lightning strikes as well. So that should blow up the tower. Yep, and did it. No, that wasn't nice. Don't have any dwarfs for repairs. Oh well. Don't have firefighters anymore now, so that's bad. Okay, never mind. Then we shall repair. I don't know. What should we repair? Let's repair this so it doesn't fall down. Can use one dynamite. Let's just use two rays here. If I'm lucky, I might actually collapse that left building of his. Uh, sure, use some door breakers somewhere. Why the hell not? That sounded like a fire. <laughs> Stop that. I won. Yeah. So that's basically a bit, you know. Why did I win? Did I 
don't see where his library was. I guess this was maybe his um, his Archranger's library. Oh boy, that was a long game. <laughs> 37 turns. No. Okay, well, that's that's gonna be it. I don't know. I'll probably have to see if I can uh, edit this down a bit. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, that's it for my first impression for Dwarf Tower. It, does, uh, it is very, uh, very fun game. Um, I will look forward to playing it in like online and sandbox as well. So, um, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and um, pick it up. It's a nice game. It's fun, and um, I shall see you next time. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>